hi guys welcome to my channel enterprise security this will be a first video of my new series of Cisco Prime 3.8 if you miss my previous videos links are available in the description today we are going to discuss and learn about Cisco Prime licensing one of the first thing that you can do before you start using Cisco Prime is to add the network and compute device into the Cisco Prime in this video we will start by discussing how to apply the licenses into the Cisco Prime which is prerequisite to add the devices into the Cisco Prime let me log into the Cisco Prime root will be uh, uh, the default username for um, Cisco Prime GUI let me log in as you can see here my uh, evaluation licenses are already expired so that's why I can see the limited option for licensing we can go the administration uh, for traditional licensing we can go to the licensing options for smart licensing we can go to the uh, smart, smart software licensing so we have a smart software licensing before uh, we move to the smart software licensing uh, I will explain you about the licensing license traditional licenses okay okay as I already explained you my uh, licenses are already expired so that's why we can see here that uh, uh, there is no uh, any uh, by default evaluation licenses so let me explain you about the, the licenses here now prime require different type of licenses in order to operate I will categorize like uh, prime licenses in two categories one is mandatory and another one is optional so the, the, the mandatory license is required for prime is base licenses which is prerequisite for any other licenses the prime uh, the base license is is required for per prime instant the second mandatory license is life size life cycle license the life cycle license is required by each of the device that managed by Cisco Prime including individual lightweight access point each of the access point even though they are connected to the same controller will consume the licenses now the current licensing mod modules require life cycle license to be unique by device type so when you buy the licenses when you buy the life cycle licenses you need to know the type and quantity of your network and computed compute device that will be managed by Cisco Prime now the second category will be uh, uh, the op optional category the on the first cat the first license in into the option is assurance uh, you need assurance license for device that can be um, that will be capable to sending the net flow data to the prime okay uh, if your device is capable uh, to collect and send the net flow data uh, you need a both license the life cy cycle license to add this uh, these devices into the prime and assurance license to collect and send the net flow data to the prime the second optional uh, license is collector license this is to increase the net flow data rate in unit of unit of flow per second from 20,000 to the 80,000 okay this is a prerequisite for collector license okay so uh, collector license require assurance license if you need install collector license you need a life cycle license as well as assurance license okay then there is another um, um, uh, optional license is data center license which is required like if you wanted to manage your UCS server uh, then you you need um, a data center license this license is per, per server rack unit or a server blade if you have a B series um, server this license is per blade not for purchases okay this space is traditional license okay the uh, prime uh, prime uh, give us like a 60 days evaluation license uh, 100 users for life cycle license 20,000 for collector license 
in order to install the proper license you will have um, you will receive uh, PAK key from Cisco Prime uh, so, sorry from Cisco or your resellers then you can claim your licenses on HTTP colon slash slash uh, www.cisco slash go slash licenses then you will get the license file then you can install that license file uh, uh, in here like licenses okay licenses file control file and MSC file okay you might also notice that here the another options are appear here the wireless LAN controller and another option is uh, MSC license okay the prime also manage the licenses for MSC you can click install install the file here for wireless LAN controller you have the ability to view the controller license only uh, th this will be provide controller list as well as uh, the uh, the AP count okay that this is the traditional license okay from version 3.8 3.1 and the prime support smart smart software licensing okay for smart software licensing we have to come here administration smart software licensing suppose you have um, existing evaluation license and if you move to the smart software license your traditional licenses will disable your traditional evaluation license will disable so we we come came here administration smart software licensing click on smart software licensing product we just selected we just select prime infrastructure and enable smart software licensing okay uh, the registration status is unregistered uh, the here we can we have to log in uh, your um, our Cisco ID or um, Cisco ID and get the registration token and we can paste it here so this is the licenses you can see here the assurance license base license collector license the life cycle license um, um, as of now the 83 devices are connected here so that's why he is show, uh, showing 83 then data center license as we already discussed okay uh, then data center hyperversion license so these are the, the licenses um, uh, we can choose one by one or you you can directly paste your registration token and it will directly um, connect to your uh, Cisco account so let me log into my um, uh, software.cisco.com this is my software.cisco.com we can we, uh, we have to go here the smart software licensing we will go to the inventory if you go to the licensing licenses the existing licenses if we go inside the inventory licenses we can see uh, the prime licenses uh, for base licenses, life life cycle licenses, and assure licenses. Uh, so we have uh, licenses for for uh, Cisco Prime. So we can simply go here, general, new token. We can mention the Cisco eyes. Sorry, Cisco Prime. Um, okay, let's so create token. Yeah, token will be created. We can click here and copy that token. I just already copy that token. Uh, we can come here again. Let me log in again. Root password. Uh, login okay so I can come here paste uh, uh, the registration token and click register 
it will go to the registration it will take some time to register this device with Cisco cloud Cisco um, Cisco software uh, now you can see we have a lot of options here administration smart licensing we can see the registration status is registered and license uh, authorization status is authorized we can see the assurance license base license collect license and life, ci life cycle license okay so we can go to the li uh, uh, licensing dashboard we can see that uh, prime infrastructure base licenses collector licenses how many licenses we have it uh, it will take some time to collect all the data so we will go to the dashboard so all things are running here we can see that after licenses uh, the all options are up here now um, uh, the smart all all the inventory configuration monitor dashboard all all options we can see here the administration uh, licensing okay so this uh, this is the process for applying licenses uh, for Cisco Prime especially smart licenses okay so hope this video will help you um, and you understand how to apply the licenses thank you for watching this video if you like this video please press the like button and subscribe this channel thank you very much